dudes? How you doing? I I sometimes have a problem with saying stuff before I think about it. I I I I I I I, <laughs> I feel like fucking Ken, you know? He is the chain breaker. 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 Well, he should be flat earth flattering you. Be it flat earthing you. Perfect. Ah! Cat piss. Breaker. 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 Why, thank you, Jason Egroff. Yes, that was the very first uh, remix song I did. And that was back, I believe, in 2020. Anyway, yes, I hope you guys like that throwback. <laughs> and welcome to my day stream. I know there's a lot of people out there who are in completely different time zones. And every once in a while, I like to do a day stream for you guys so you can finally get into the live chat are people who live in the Western Hemisphere and prefer listening to something during the day. Here you go. So I wanted to review this because uh, Shani and Rev are trying. It's a it's inevitably not going to work, but we're just going to go with it. They have uh, created new channels on YouTube again, like they always do. And they started posting content. So we're going to look at a Shani video and then a Revelation News video. Haven't done one of these in a very long time. But like I said earlier um, in, a, in previous streams, whenever she comes back and posts something that's lulzy and interesting, we'll review it. So excited, didn't even know about this day stream, and it's been a while, and usually you do them on Wednesday. Yes, it's it has been a while since I've done a day stream. So I was like, you know what? Shani posted a video. Let me just do this. So hope you guys are having a great day, morning, evening, wherever you are in the world. <laughs> You're still in bed. 
Oh, great, Gerda. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, it turns out about 20% of my audience actually lives overseas. And this is a good time for you guys. And so I try to do these as many times as I, I can. So Jason seems a little better. Shani, not so much. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I think, yeah. So <laughs> for those that thought that I actually added a color filter to my thumbnail, I did not. Shani was, in fact, looking very purple. Legato Slave, member for six months. Adore you. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. I appreciate that. Shani and Reb on YouTube, color me shocked. Next thing you know, you'll tell me they are e-begging again. <gasps> you don't say. Yes, that's what they do. So this is Shani. Um, I don't have any updates for you other than to say that we are well past the year mark as far as when their children were taken. I'm glad their kids were taken. For those in the back who like to say, how dare you say that about Shani? I told you I would, I stand by what I say. I'm glad that her kids were taken. This was the sixth time they were taken by various states that she's lived in. I hope she never gets them back. I've said it before. I'll say it again. If that hurts your feelings, I don't know what to tell you. Do your homework because... <laughs> Um, if you knew how she was treating those children, you would want them to have a better life as well, unless you're a complete piece of shit. In other words, I don't know. That's on you. Give Shani a sheet to cover up. Well, thank goodness she's wearing a skirt as a dress. So <laughs> fun times. Yes, that Ursula. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> I agree, Roxanne. There. So, I guess you noticed um, in my last video. She's very high. <laughs> <laughs> she is very, very high. Who knows what it is at this point? Yes, you are right. I am medicated. I am on muscle relaxants called cyclobenzaprine. And it has a effect on me where... My face is like literally melting looking. Oh, should I say it? Should I say it? Yes, I'm going to say it. Shani, that would be your whole body every day. So. Um, I feel like I'm melting too on it. <laughs> it's really trippy. <laughs> but. Welcome to how we. <laughs> My back isn't as stiff. Um, <laughs> oh I'm not God. in much pain where I'm writhing. Writhing. So for those that are who are new, she doesn't say her ing's the ing writhing. She'll say writhing. That's why I was laughing so hard the last stream that I did, where Bullhorn Betty instead of saying tongue, she said ton. That's why I was busting out laughing because that's what Shani for Christ does. She doesn't ever pronounce words correctly because she's just frankly lazy. Um, Hoops on the board says, I've taken that muscle relaxer before. It does not act like that unless you add other medications to it, uh, which more than likely she did. Yes, probably so. Shani is drug seeking. I mean, that, she is a drug seeker. She's an addict. Uh, she will take whatever she can get. She prefers, it seems, a lot of downers, so whatever she can get her hands on. There were times when she was in Colorado before they moved to PA where she was sending her boyfriend out to buy her um, Benadryl, and she would try to overdose on that just to get high. It's She's an absolute mess. So, like, I want to ask... My audience, 
to is anyone here in this yes it is you see that that's how you know she's faking it thank you Irv. exactly what i was going to say she has always overplayed how high she is she gets a little buzzed and gets online and rolls her eyes and slurs her words She's 14, don't forget. It's way cool to be high, man. Yes. So if you notice that she was completely high until she needed to talk about the chat and she was sober and then she goes back to pretending to be high. Yeah. She does the same thing. Like she'll be super high or out of it or whatever. And then somebody in the chat will say, ooh, what's the color of your eyeshadow? It's so cute. And she will completely snap out of the crying or the high or whatever it is she's pretending to be to answer the question <laughs> about what color her eyeshadow is and then go right back to, yeah, what audience, yeah, the audience she used to have. So now she doesn't really have an audience. It's just all trolls. All of them are trolls. I just want to ask my audience to forgive me for my face melting. I take that stuff three times a day and really it affects my memory really stinking bad. I just think you're stupid. It's just my opinion. Those on the board, thank you so much. Me, fat Billy, me on diet. Ooh, nuggies, num num. Yes, that is fascinating. Thanks for sharing. But at least I'm not writhing in pain. So you're just going to have to get over that. Um, it, this new Ursula spinoff is wild. It is what it is. Uh, I think it might be the mixture between the Gabapentin and the cyclobenzaprine it may be that but i know my face melts i feel like i'm gonna melt a lot of the time i mean okay side effects of medication it happens i'm going to the doctor I am taking care of myself. Okay. Where do they live now? They have been in PA since 2021. And loving myself. <laughs> and I am going to continue to love myself. And, and one of the things I do to love myself is I try to take my body and not be in pain with it. Or, <laughs> this is a wild concept, <laughs> just stick with me here. Maybe another solution is to not eat 5,000 calories a day. I know, it's crazy, guys. What a thought. But that could also be an option. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Uh, I totaled my car this morning and took muscle relaxers when I got home. I definitely am not acting like that BS. I am so sorry that you told your car and I'm glad that you're okay. I hope you're okay. That's crazy. But yes, there's a lot of people. If you'll notice in the chat, <laughs> Shani spouts a lot of bullshit. So it goes without saying, please don't get any of your medical information from YouTubers. Just don't just go see a doctor. Wonderlust, thank you so much. Love you, Toasty. I just saw you were live. So happy I made it. Thank you and welcome. Um, let's see. I was an addict and clean since 2011, and it looks like she has taken way too much of whatever she's on. Congratulations for being clean for that long. That's awesome. But yes, it she either takes way too much and or she's taking too much and then she will over also over exaggerate how high she is at this point the way that she completely snapped out of it to talk about the chat and then snapped back in makes me think she's putting it on 
pretty thick. Hooves on the board. Thank you so much. First time I saw this, I was terrified. She was naked. Yeah, well, um, good for you. Even if she was, you still wouldn't see anything because it's about three feet down from the camera. I'm chronic pain so. patient. Um, I have fibromyalgia. She does not. She's also one of these people that claims to have all of these diseases that she's never actually been diagnosed with. Yep. And then she uses all of those things as an excuse to, I don't know, abuse children and beat up her boyfriend and make excuses for how she has treated her family, her siblings, former husbands, et cetera, et cetera. And osteoarthritis. I'm in tremendous pain. And I, I, you're welcome team. Bro. I need to be on this stuff because I don't want to be in pain. Um, but I will tell you, I do kind of hallucinate in a way. Yeah, that's just you being stupid. How is she not in jail for all the stuff with her boyfriend and kids? Well, her boyfriend did go to jail for kicking one of the children. And she has been arrested and put in jail multiple times throughout her life. Um, domestic violence, domestic battery assault, all kinds of stuff. But in the end, thankfully, the state stepped in and took her kids for like the what sixth time now. And it looks as though, because they have not been returned, and it's been over the year mark, I'm hoping this means they will start taking away her parental rights. So, in my opinion, she should be in jail. Both her, her and her boyfriend should be. Why they aren't, I don't know. It, it's just part of the, the, I don't know what this stuff is made from, to tell you the truth. I didn't do my research. I was just like, okay, if it helps. <laughs> um, Baroness, but... <laughs> Baroness Munchausen's. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what this is all about, man. I just, like, want to tell people it's going to be okay. And, um,. To be angry all the time and feel bitter toward people is not the way, man. It is not the way. Um, I wonder whether living Rev's uncle kicked them out, so who knows? Actually, that's not true. Um, Rev's uncle did not kick them out. I don't think that he's ever going to kick them out. He has been one of their biggest enablers, aside from G-Man, of course, this entire time. He, they're still living in a house that Rev's uncle owns. They're, they're still in the same house. Rev's uncle pays for the electricity, pays for their internet access, and apparently is giving them a little money here and there every month. So, yeah. Um, after we watch this, as, as you can tell, the, the curtains behind her is the same curtains in the house that they've lived in this whole time. And then after this, we're going to watch um, a clip, uh, a video that Rev posted either that day or the next day where he's in the kitchen of the same house. So no, they haven't been kicked out. I don't think they're ever going to be kicked out. Channel 69. Thank you so much. I was in the middle of a three car collision and I didn't act like this. Also 30 days away from our big day. Congratulations, channel. That's awesome. I thought after all this time, I wouldn't want to punch her in the forehead. But here I am wanting to kung fu. Yep, she has that effect on people. I, I've come to realize that hatred is an ignorant and pointless and 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 really not a good emotion it always gets you into trouble you can never think straight when you're angry so why should i be angry like if you choose if it's your choice to be happy 
isn't it your choice to be angry too? Think about it. It's your choice to be angry. You don't have to be angry. Because see, when you're angry, you can think right, think clearer. You know what's also a choice is you not getting a job. So, or not getting a drug test so you can see your kids. That's also a choice that you made. Is the uncle the only family Rev has? Yes. The uncle is the only family Rev has left. Everyone else has been deceased. I believe he has a few cousins, but they're, for whatever reason, not in the picture. Like, at all. You know, be sober-minded instead of, like, being in this hate-filled, I'm going to stay ignorant type of uh, way. I, I just... I'm just not into that type of thinking. Um, I'm not going to be. I choose to be happy. I choose not to hold grudges. I choose to forgive people and to understand them and to have compassion for them. I choose to live my life like that. Like that. So somebody has already picked it up in the chat. Wait, she has been reading BHB's book. No, she can't read. That is correct. She probably can't read. But yes, you'll notice that there is, there's a lot of similarities between all of these Lowell Scouts. Either the ones that I review or the ones that I don't even review yet or whatever. They all seem to have the same characteristics. And one of those is they like to sit up on their channel and hold court and preach to everyone about how if you disagree with them, it's hate and they're angry. And all these people must be hateful, angry people. They must be demonic, blah, 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 blah. And they like to kind of throw this out constantly that people that disagree with them, that don't like them for whatever reason, that there's something mentally wrong with them. Look at BHB. She says that they are demonic. They are mentally ill. They're angry, hateful people inside. She says that all the time. When in reality, it's just like projection, right? Shani's the same way. All these people say the exact same things. And once you start picking up on the pattern, it'll click in your head like, oh, shit. Like these people really are not original. They're not clever. They're not creative. They're not smart. They all say the exact same thing just in their own way. And this is one of those examples. And I shouldn't be shamed for wanting to live my life like that. Being angry is such a waste. It's such a waste. Like, there's no need to be angry about stuff. You know, if your life didn't turn out the way it, what you thought it would, big deal. You're still alive. <laughs> You're still experiencing life. <laughs> you could, you could experience it in your life being like, oh, oh, oh. But that just makes you angry. What if you experience in your life happy and just embrace whatever circumstance and whatever thing you have in life? Just embrace it, you know? Wow. Can y'all imagine <laughs> somebody neglecting their kids to the point where the state comes in and takes them, like, away and immediately puts them in a foster home <laughs> And she's sitting around saying, guys, we shouldn't be angry. We should just be like, oh, at least I'm still alive. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, you know, stay in the now. Stay in the now and, and, and realize that your life is precious and you're okay. Like right now, you're okay. You don't have to be angry or 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 feel all those negative, toxic thoughts that are really, to tell you the truth, really bad for your body. To be stressed out and angry is really bad for your physical health, okay? I mean, Shani, come on. <laughs> 
I could name, I don't know, a hundred other things that are way worse for you right now, <clears throat> A1C, than being stressed. Okay, okay, I'm just saying. One of the one of the biggest killers is stress. Anger causes stress on your body. And Which is something that BHB has said. Y'all see what I'm saying? Like there's a definite pattern here. And and you have this hormone called cortisol. And it's this spiral-like hormone, and it zips right through your ve blood vessels, and it cuts your blood vessels up. up. That's not good for your body. So be happy, and you'll be repaired. It's That was a Wendy's cup. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Like Somebody else said it, too. She looks like that she's gained even more weight. So when you are pushing 600 pounds... Like I'm not, I'm not being facetious, dead ass, 600 pounds. She's around 600 pounds. And then you continue to gain weight. And then you add on top of the fact that she is not moving around. She does not work. She does not do anything. She sits on that couch where she is right now in the living room of that house. And she does not get up unless she's going to the bathroom sometimes. Enjoy that mental picture. Of course, when that's your situation, you're going to have sore joints. You're going to have a sore back. You're going to have sore legs. And when you are, she's like almost six feet tall. She's like 5'11 ish, 5'10, 5'11. And then you add 600 pounds on that. I'm very sure that she probably has things like her joints hurting and her feet swelling and hurting and she probably does have pain in that regard, but it's not because of fibromyalgia. <laughs> it's because she's 600 fucking pounds and she doesn't ever move. I don't like, have you ever seen that Japanese experience experiment where he was looking at ice particles, right? And he put like positive words on this, this, water and then he put negative words on that one and it turned out when it was like making like the crystallized ice the the ones that were having happy thoughts to them were these just beautiful crystal snowflake structures while the ones with the negative type thoughts and and like feelings toward it it was jagged there wasn't any like rhyme or reason to the crystal, the water crystal. And you know that if you live in your life, imagine what that does to a person. That's an excellent point, Amanda. How incredibly less stress stressful life could be if I didn't have to pay my biggest expense during these times. Housing must be nice, Shani. Great point. Most of us <laughs> have rent and or we have mortgage, you know, we have our bills. And like you said, if you own a home, your biggest payment is usually your mortgage payment. So the fact that she gets to sit on a couch and do nothing every fucking day of her life other than stuff her face and act all pious on the Internet. She does not have to pay bills. She does not have a car payment. She does not have rent or mortgage. She does not have to pay utilities. She does not have to pay internet. She doesn't even have to get a job because the uncle and possibly um, another person, <clears throat> G-Man, is possibly giving them money. I know the uncle's giving her money, but there's no way that you're going to maintain 600 and something pounds unless you were eating the calories to maintain that weight. So the fact that she's sitting around not having any of the everyday stressing and stressors that the average person has, <laughs> that's wild to me. And then she thinks that it's stressful to just sit there and do nothing. Okay, girl. You know, we are 70% water. 
Okay, we have a lot of water in our body. <laughs> so if we, we are given the intention <laughs> of negative energy. Okay, game time. <laughs> Finish this sentence. Shani is 70% fill in the blank. I want to hear your answers. Are there any updates on the cats? Not that I know of. I have no idea. And unfortunately, until the uncle actually does kick them out and they're actually on the street for real, for real, and nobody gives them a safety net, a house to live in, a place to stay, the cats cannot be rescued because the Humane Society can't go into someone's house and just take your cats or take your dogs, right? <laughs> That's funny. Into our bodies. Imagine what that does to our bodies. But what if you started um, absorbing yourself, your media, in positive things, things that don't get you stressed or angry or anything like that and you start just giving positivity to yourself for yourself it's really good for your body your mind i heard g-man sold the house and they got their cut g-man did sell the house i don't have any idea about them getting a cut I haven't seen proof or anything. I will say prior to him selling the house, he was openly talking about how he was possibly going to give some of the money to Jason. Now, if he does that, y'all know what happens. He's going to give it to her. Do I think they have a ton of money? Absolutely not. There's no way. If they had a ton of money, they would be smoking joints. They would be, they would be spending it constantly. They'd be mukbanging. They'd be doing all that stuff again. So I don't think that they got like a huge amount or anything, but G-Man did say that he was considering giving some of it to Jason. So I hope that he didn't do that, but I don't trust G-Man because G-Man is also a lulz cow. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. So I just want to encourage people to just start focusing on the positive. The negative, it, it's just, it'll make things worse for you. It really will. Um, but you think in the positive and it's doors open up. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you start just re-looking at your life on what it's been. and Re-looking at your life. You try to turn it into a positive. <laughs> and, and, and that's just mainly what I try to do with my life. Is just turn what could be a negative experience and, and make lemonade with it. You know? Um, I'm Yes, they're still at the uncle's house. So the uncle has a house that he owns and lives in. And then the uncle owns a second house. And that second house that's empty, per, or aside from some furniture here and there, they're still in that same house from before. I'm just going to enjoy. It doesn't matter what I'm going through. I'm just going to enjoy every little piece of my life. Because you're never, you're not promised tomorrow, you know. The things could happen to you. Um, so why would I want to spend the last moments being miserable? I could be happy. I'd rather die happy. Wouldn't you? <laughs> wow. But I'm just... <laughs> I just want people to get better and to heal. And if you're angry and you're pointing fingers at people and and you're just hating on a mother a mother trucker, 
I caught myself there. I'm really trying really hard to work on my language. I don't want to be um, dumb anymore. I don't know. I actually don't have a problem with you cussing, Shani. It's the not saying the G's in words. Too controversial um, and, and too wanton with <laughs> what I say. I don't. One ton of <laughs> Oh my God. Not going to say it. Not going to say it. Not going to say it. I want to be like that. I. I can be better than that. And um, I think everyone can do better than what they normally are used to. You can do better. I can do better. And, and we can really embrace and love each other the way we need to. Because, you know, things are going down in this world, okay? Thank you, Sticky. Welcome to the dumpster fire. Things are going down. Okay? <laughs> Just think about what's happening in the world. Going down. We're no longer in global warming. We're in global <laughs> boiling. That's what the scientists are saying. <laughs> Got him, Shani. Boiling. Boiling. Florida's water 101. It's like a freaking hot tub. Why would you... Like, you're trying to cool off and you're... It, in a water that hot? No. <laughs> and it's... God forbid she takes a hot bath. Ew. What is that? Killing the coral? <laughs> it's awful. It's awful. And really, I think what's going on, because I've been doing my research. Ah, research. There's a part in our mag... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Warning, she is really fucking stupid. So, <laughs> this shit's hilarious. Magnetosphere <laughs> of the earth, right? And there's this point that's like in like the southern state area, like right above the equator. Magneto hates the equator, got it. Where it's the magnetic sphere is like kind of like bent. Ah, like that. Wow. It's like bent in. Wow. In that part of the earth for some reason. Mm. And it's very low. It's gone down. The magnetic sphere has gone down, I think, 6 8%. Right. 6 per 8%. Got it. And w I think what it's going on is the solar flares because the sun right now is just. Yeah, the sun is just, you know, sunning in the sphere and sky thing with the 6 per 8%. Got it. I agree, Bran. Uh, send in the X-Men. We need them right now. Where are they? <laughs> Twins, get the five memberships. Thank you so much. Welcome, SM. Jane says, oh, Melanta, Kelly Ford. Welcome to the dumpster fire. Rick with eyes, poverty is strong weapon against global warming. You're right. It's so strong. She's so strong. At its high peak. So the solar flares are coming in. They said it would, we wouldn't feel it in a couple years, but I think Florida and the waters in that area are starting to feel the uh, <laughs> bending of the magnetosphere. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Oh, God, Shannon. Uh, okay. It would make more sense what's going on in that area. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going through global boiling. <laughs> global boiling. Um, we don't have much time left <laughs> in this world. Global boiling. I'm just letting you know. Oxygen levels have been going down. It's because okay. Two, Jenny. we need stop breathing. Need to make 
more trees and let the plants be abundant. <laughs> we need to not plant trees. We need to make more trees. Wow, where's my 3D printer? Let me just start printing some out. We need to stop driving in cars. Oh my God, Jenny. I, I know you hate that, but. Can you, okay. Wow, so much I could say at this point. Team Brittany, thank you so much. Solar Flare Fund, X-Men on the way. We really need to take the carbon <laughs> footprint off the earth. I don't even know if we'll have a chance even then. There's that. I mean, it's just a lot. See, crocheting, Bammy said it. I didn't want to say it, but there, there you go. Going on. And then you got the whole Trumpian thing that's going on. And it's just getting really weird, that case. And I agree, Brand. Take the Shanty footprint off Rev. That is a great start. Then there's UFOs. Like, there's some um, people who've been in the government that says there's a mothership in Saturn and it's sending its probes to us. Then there's other people that say um, the greys are not good, <laughs> but then there's good aliens and there's bad aliens. And, and I don't know if we're going to get invasion I think they're modern us right now. Modern us? Oh, modern girl. Modern. But then <laughs> you hear about all the technology that our government has, and it's absolutely insane. Is she trolling us? Um, unfortunately, she's just stupid. She's very, very, very dumb. <laughs> Men in black come get her literally burnt toast. Like literally. We are bending physics, yo. I mean the couches. We are turning like and breaking the laws of physics. I don't know. I don't know how this technology works i know it like has something with electromagnetic magneticism yeah that magneto guy oh, i'm gonna get him one day x-men yes thank you graveyard flowers the moon is a hologram so shani said one time on a live stream that the moon is not real that it is a hologram so that's the um the brain power that we're working with here. Um, but it's like you can find. Um, yeah, she's, she's bending the English language. Very good. Yep. I know what I can do. We can review the UFO hearings from 20. Uh, what was it? 2014, 2013. I think 2013. Mm -hmm. And we'll review them, me and Jason. That would be cool to do. That'd be really cool to do, you know? And and you can hear what these people have to say. Shani also claimed that the moon is a light source. Yes, good to see you, Jello. Yeah, she did actually say that as well. For themselves. And they're very credited scientists credited military personnel these people are so credited then there's the the senate hearings for the ufos <laughs> that's really like whoa like stuff is going down in this world I stuff is going down yeah oh. Another joke. Oh. I guess that's the whole point of why I made this video. Is There's things going on in this world that are really weird and interesting. And let's just be honest, new. And I, I'm really enjoying watching what's going on in the world right now. I feel like I'm a watcher, a quiet watcher. 
<laughs> okay. Graveyard Flowers, thank you so much. She bends the English language like she bends car suspensions and revs femurs. Yikes. Because I really don't talk to anyone. Facts. Um, I don't want to talk to anyone. I was, I've been traumatized because of online bullying. Yet she's on YouTube posting videos to talk to people. Okay. Team Brittany, thank you so much. Beam me up, Scotty, to the light source of the moon. Leave the sun out of this dude, right? We don't want you, sun. Wonderlust, thank you so much. Save the couch. <laughs> Can it be saved, though, at this point? Ah, I don't know. Is this a newer video? Yes, this is actually from August 8th, so just a couple of days ago. You probably could see the lingers of it in my chat. It, I, I, I just be honest. I just ignore it because I just don't care. But you're mentioning it here now. So. Um. <laughs> she needs to be a Weight Watcher. <laughs> I'm mad that I did not think about that. <sighs> my happiness is way more important than listening, in, listening to people who really don't know me. Um, but <laughs> that's not the thing that lingers. Oh, y'all got jokes today. <laughs> I am really tell you the truth, having a great time watching all of this stuff goes down. Like you not having your kids. I so agree, Shani. Mm. Glad they're not lingering with you. Because, see, I, I have this thing right here. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. You see it? Isn't it pretty? It's my Bible. I love it. it you can tell that it's used, too. Like, but here's the thing. In the very last book of the Bible, which is the book of Revelation, you can see what's going on in the book of Revelation. Like, Thank you, Peggy. Once upon a time in True Crime Channel, live from Canada. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, somebody says, I doubt she's wearing under... Ugh. I don't think about that. Not finishing the sentence. So is she done with her Wiccan phase? I guess so. And if you guys know anything about Shani, for those that are new, she hops from one religion to another every five seconds and hops from one political, I guess, view, ideology, um, worldview every five seconds as well. One minute she's a Christian, uh, screaming out of context, misquoted Bible verses at people to excuse her bad behavior. And the next minute she is a so-called witch. The next minute, she's something else. So she switches back and forth. So basically, um, if you are a human being, she's eventually going to piss you off. Like it's it's like we are so close, folks. So close. So that's one of the things I think we're going to be investigating here at the Shanny Dojo. Um, what? Listen, my students. I mean, you have to first, I don't know, learn to read, <laughs> learn how to take a shower at least once a year before you start trying to teach other people. Just a thought. I forgot about her Wiccan phase. Yeah, she's done a couple of those phases. And it's just, it's like somebody says, she's very much a culture vulture. She just steals other people's beliefs, other people's views. She will steal other people's stories. Like I've seen people talk about their childhood or talk about some traumatic event in their life. And she will steal their story and then retell it somewhere else and claim that that happened to her. She just leapfrogs to whatever personality that she wants to deal with that day, I guess. Just like her ethnicity, that... <laughs> She switches when it's convenient. That she also does. Yep. 
Yeah, she is back on YouTube, but I will say this. It doesn't ever last long because she always inevitably gets caught and YouTube takes her down. So don't expect her to be around for very long because eventually it triggers bots that she's ban evading and then she will lose her channel again. Will she come back after that? Who knows? She always seems to try to come back eventually, but she, do she doesn't stay for very long. Huda Bush, thank you so much. Them teeth hanging on better than I thought. Yeah, I think she's got like four left on the top. I want you to know that it's going to be okay. I know a lot of things are going on right now, but it's just part of the human experience. And it, I'd rather go into things with my eyes wide open and just thinking what's going to happen. Cause really your life is a story being told and you're interacting for that story to unfold. And you are special in this world. <laughs> Okay, you're, you're the only person in this world experiencing what you're experiencing right now, if you think about it. Like, you are a way how God experiences stuff. So I guess she's going into her, I'm a spiritual guru type thing, I guess. She is e-begging for food is my guess. Oh, she will always e-beg. Always, always, always. So, like, you should, like, experience life with an open mind. Just realize that it's all an experience. It's all an adventure. It's all a story. You know, it's all a story. She's never been a part of the human experience hiding in a room, stuffing her face. Great point. I mean, most of her life, she has spent sitting in a room somewhere by herself, uh, bitching on the internet, bitching about trolls and haters and naysayers, preaching to people, saying dumb shit, um, <laughs> spreading false information, just being a wretched human being. She's never actually gone out and lived life. And that's her own fault. And and you're a beautiful soul who was created by the creator. And there's no need to be angry or, or frustrated. There's no need for that. Useless emotions. Useless emotions emotions okay like if someone does something really heinous toward you right <laughs> you don't like what they're doing they're really heinous so heinous you realize that they're heinous you have an opportunity to to find joy with that experience of someone just being a plain jerk to you. Like you could just realize that if they're being reactive and angry, it's, it's probably because they're dealing with something that they don't want to deal with. So instead of feeling that disappointment they put a secondary emotion on and that's anger for the most part anger is always a secondary emotion it's not for the most part it actually is jenny but okay if people got all the things that made them angry out of their lives like she preaches she wouldn't have an audience wow good point what the fuck is she even talking about <laughs> she's just rambling this is her. I'm a spiritual guru. I'm a therapist. I'm going to say a lot of things that doesn't actually mean anything. So that's what she's doing right now. 
you know most of the time what causes anger is disappointment sadness you know um, not feeling you get what you think you deserve projection it, anger is a secondary emotion yeah she thinks she's profound yeah she she thinks that she's a genius like i'm not even kidding if you watch drag or some of the other channels that have reviewed her there is a super chat i think it's drag's channel where there's a clip of her saying i'm smart i have the iq of presidents okay so she she truly believes that she's a genius okay you know what's better for you and your mind instead of getting angry instead of having that secondary emotion feel that sorrow feel that sadness and just realize your tears are like a flower being rained on all right guys your tears are like a flower being rained on what i okay you have a wonderful night peace and maranatha peace and marinara be kind be nice and just just love your life because your life is precious and and you deserve love and understanding <laughs> it's true <laughs> bye guys oh if you didn't know this was a lost guy you would think this was an snl skit it's true guys you deserve love and understanding okay so <laughs> He did this one. This is her boyfriend. This is the next day, so August 9th. He does this. And this is the kitchen in that same house uh, that their uncle owns. Talk about God wearing a bed sheet. Okay. <laughs> right. All right. Hey, guys. What's up? It's uh, Rev here. So uh, I was thinking... Uh, this is a video to the people that would call themselves reaction channels that, you know, you got our stuff. Um, Sinister X, thank you so much. Hey, Toast, you ever going to review Cyrax or King Cobra? Hmm. Probably not. And here's why. With Cyrax, it's like there's already a ton of people already reviewing him. And I, I honestly can't stand looking at him. <laughs> it's just my opinion. Like, I can't. I just can't do it. I cannot look at him. It, it, it turns my stomach. So it's probably not going to happen. And as far as Cobes, um, there's really not, like, new stuff that's happening. Unfortunately, the last time I watched Cobes, he was just kind of drunk. So... And I don't really view Cobes in the same way that I view Shani as well. Like with Cobes, yeah, he's a little cow. But at the same time, he's not going out in the world and hurting people. So I think for me, not going to speak for anybody else, but for me, I don't know. I just, I probably won't be reviewing him for that reason. I mean, there have been times where I re I've reviewed his cooking. That's really funny. So um, if there's more cooking streams where he's like that one time where he made snail tacos. Was it snail tacos or snail burritos? No, it was snail. It was something with snails. and It was so gross. That's pretty funny. But it, as far as Cobes, just his regular streams, probably not. You what? Uh really pay attention to when we go live or something like that you guys really pay attention to that um and the people that follow those same people that are reaction channels 
this video is for you. So I think we should be able to come together <laughs> and like not hate on each other. You see, there's another pattern there. See, they all these people, they all think the same way. Uh, I'm already there. I don't want to do that anymore. Okay. I'm just being straight up with you. Uh, I'm not in the business of slinging mud at all anymore. I don't like it. Uh, it was never anything I ever liked in my life. Okay. And of course, that's a lie. I mean, he was on YouTube for damn near 10 years. And prior to that, he was on Google Plus for God knows how many years he was over there. And all of his streams, especially when he got with Shani for Christ in what, 2017? All he did was act pretentious, condescending. He was fucking racist as fuck. Uh, scamming people, lying. I could go on and on. He did nothing but talk down to people, scream and yell, uh, brag about what expensive thing he just bought. He, he even told people, you know, that if you work at a Walmart or a McDonald's or a minimum wage job, that you're a piece of shit and that he's above all that. If you drink water, you're a peasant. Like he was 100% an asshole to everyone for over a decade. So I find it very interesting that now he's poor and has no money and has nowhere to stay except for his uncle's house. That all of a sudden now he's like, guys, I just want peace now. Can we just have peace? Okay. Uh, if I found myself in a situation where that was uh, a thing, I exited the situation quickly, which is why I've been gone. Uh, I finally got to a point where I walked away. So this is a peace video. I just want peace with you. I know you're going to do reaction videos, and that's cool. Uh, you got a business model that you want to do, and I understand that now. So you want to do what you do with the content. That's entirely your business. But I think we can come together on this. I'm coming to you being honest, saying that I have mental illness. I deal with I, – I, I've been diagnosed bipolar now as well. Uh, that's – I don't believe that's complete bullshit. So how he got the quote unquote diagnosis of bipolar is Shani said to him on a live stream, you know what, Jason, I think you have bipolar. And then Rev said, really? I have bipolar. That's crazy. Hey guys, I have bipolar. And that's how it happened because he's an idiot and he's brainwashed into thinking that she's an expert in all things. And she has claimed to be a nurse, which she hasn't. She hasn't even graduated high school. So she will diagnose people over the internet as well. <laughs> None of these people have any of this shit. None of them do. So I'm, I'm a schizoaffective bipolar person. Okay. Uh, I do my best to control the things that go along with that. I really do my best, uh, and and I I try I do my best to be as nice as I can because I know that if my mind goes a certain way, I could be very different and not be nice quickly. Yeah, for real, blank screen. He's capping. So, like, here's the thing: I believe that they both probably do have something going on up there. What that is, I don't know. But what they've claimed isn't the case. Um, there's something else I was going to say. I'll play this. I'm thinking. So I, that's what I deal with, and it's rough. Oh, I, I remember I was going to say. So the thing that they do is that once they self-diagnose themselves with fill-in-the-blank mental illness, they then will use that as a shield to be an absolute piece of shit to people. Like, oh, guys, I'm going to scream the N-word in a video 17 times. But the next video, you guys are not allowed to call me out on it because I have fill-in-the-blank mental illness. It's such a piece. He, he is absolutely a piece of shit. 
Uh, Sinister X, thank you so much. Oh, and finally hit a toast stream. I watched all your shabby streams and my summer job flew fly by. So thank you a ton. You're welcome. I'm happy to do another one as long as they're putting out content. But you guys in that community, you have mental illness too. Sound familiar? Those who are around for my BHB streams, that's what BHB says all the time. All of her haters must have mental illnesses because they disagree with her. It's kind of fucked up to use that as a pejorative to begin with. But again, this is to show that there is a pattern. This is what all of these people do. If you disagree with them, you're demonic. You're mentally ill. You're a hater. You hate. You're evil. You must hate your life. You're jealous, et cetera, et cetera. It's the same trope over and over again. That's a point of solidarity that I think that we should come together on is the fact that we all have problems with our minds, okay? In your case, mostly, it's uh, the obsessive addictive disorder, which is the same disorder that people that get obsessed with celebrities have. You guys have that, okay? <laughs> so I think this is, a, this is a peace video that we should all come together as <laughs> one in the understanding. He sits there and says that we all are obsessing over him because he's some kind of a celebrity and then says, but guys... Let's come together and have peace. That we all have some problems here in <laughs> our minds and we should treat each other first with respect and love. <laughs> Let's agree with that. God bless you all. God bless the reaction community. Oh my God. After you just like insulted all of us, that's hilarious. If you have a mental illness like this, the worst place for a person like him is YouTube because people will beat you down. The best thing for him, if true, is to stay off YouTube. I completely agree. And that's what people have told, told him for years. People have told that to Shani as well. But they won't get off because they are actually addicted to YouTube. They can't ever stay away. Even though they keep getting banned on all these platforms, they can't stay away. So I have an idea. I am actually going to open up the stream. I don't do this very often. But I will open up the stream and we can talk about Lowell's cows. Let me pin this. Wheel of illnesses. I mean, Shani is a medical mystery, right? Remember when she said she had crinkle heart? I got crinkle heart. <laughs> it's not even a thing. Thank you, honeybees. People think bipolar is one. People think bipolar is one minute you're happy, then the next you're sad. It's actually long-term days and not just a quick minute. That is coming from someone who actually is diagnosed with bipolar and bipolar depression. Thank you so much. Yes, there's a lot of people that have corrected them on their erroneous claims. Like when she's claimed to have cancer various times, when she's claimed to have all kinds of things. And then people who actually do struggle with the things that she's claiming to have, they correct her and she gets mad. It's just, it's all a grift. They can't stay away partly because all their problems still exist and they have no one to blame their problems on. That's correct. I would love if they came up on panel. <laughs> you know, it's crazy because they won't. They are very protective about where they go. And unless it's, they used to go on G-Man's pretty much only. I think one time they went on, the geek room, maybe drag a couple of times, but after a while, they, they won't go on anybody's channel <laughs> unless they are going to, you know, think they're going to get something out of it. There have been a couple of times where they've said, okay, yeah, we'll go on your channel drag, but you got to give us money and drags like, no. And then they don't want to do it. Can't leave YouTube. How would they grift? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, that is true. Guess who? Shani has been known to P-bomb. Yeah, she's done that in the past. And unfortunately, when she still had her kids, she would put her kids on camera too, just so that she could turn around and try to, um, basically using her children as fodder 
to turn around and try to strike a channel. It's very disrespectful and not something you want to pretend to have if knowing what it's really like. Yes. And that's what I've heard from various people. Yeah. It's, she disrespects so many people. <laughs> that's why nobody likes her. Because I guarantee you that if you were to ever talk with her one-on-one, -on -one, she's going to give you a thousand reasons why you don't know what you're talking about. When in reality, she's just mad that she's getting caught in a lie. If they came up, she we wouldn't be able to hear from Rev because Shani never shuts up. Also, they would demand Delta 8 money. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they ain't get shit from me. Nope. They're welcome to come up here. They're not blocked. But no, they, they're not getting anything from me. <laughs> when she flopped her tits out on real stream. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, she went on somebody's stream and flashed everybody. It was, um, it was ew. <laughs> they want payment because they're celebrities, don't you know? Oh, my goodness. Infamous is different than famous. Rev claimed that the channel he was on now is an old channel he's tried to log into and was supposed to, what? Surprised it's still up. Hmm. Really? Interesting. Because that's very easy to tell. You just go to the about section and see when the channel was actually created. See if I can go back to my notifications. And see how old the channel is. Mo, oh, that's hilarious. Sh certain things shouldn't be gray. Ugh. Completely agree. Why is it gray? He's not coming up in my notifications. Weird. Oh, wait. Here it is. You go to his about section. Nope, he's lying. <laughs> that channel was created February 15th, 2023. <laughs> so he lied again. That's not an old channel. Rev's new channel is a, de de is a deactivated by YouTube channel. He said it live the other day. I think he's lying because if it was an older channel, like the ones that he got terminated, they were terminated last year. So this is 100% a new channel. February 15th, 2023. So lied again. Shani's been watching too much guy. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a show or not. All she does is sit around and watch stuff, so who knows? Oh, yeah, I know that. I was just letting you know that they, like, <laughs> they lie all the time. Yeah, they are band evading, 100%. I remember him saying he deleted that channel. Yeah, he did say he deleted it. Um, he did not. <laughs> it was terminated by YouTube. Oh, no, I know, Miss Miss Nobody. Yeah, it's all good. He still has the Serving Jesus channel. I wonder when that was opened. Well, if you go to the About section, it should tell you under stats on the right side. It will tell you the date that the channel was created. Mr. Unite for the chill win. Thank you so much. She also said she has Ho John Hopkins <laughs> lymphoma. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, God. It's a new age broadcast. Hmm. I don't know what she's watching. They're ban evading, but YouTube won't care unless until they attempt to monetize. Right. Well, that's that's generally what happens is that even if she does not apply for monetization, what's probably going to happen is the same thing that's happened probably a half a dozen other times where 
she'll start gaining subscribers. And the second that she gets to a thousand subscribers, what's going to happen is it's going to trigger the bots. And then it's going to show up that she is not only not supposed to be monetized, but that she's banny baiting. And then she's going to get her channel terminated. YouTube is inconsistent though. So who knows when that's going to happen, but eventually they will lose these channels too. It, it always happens. Is G-Man done saving? Is G-Man done playing Captain save -a I hope so. <laughs> Aside from the uncle, he was the second in line of the people that were supporting them financially and defending them online. So, I don't mind sharing, nor can anyone attack me in the future because there's no one that can be done that hasn't already, that's already deeper than anyone can imagine. I've been in places and through things you only hear about. That's a good way to look at, at life. Facts. YouTube has, has to have facial recognition. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's pretty evasive. Oh, hey, what's up, Beach Life? Yeah, I don't normally do day streams very often, but I decided to do one since um, a lot of the people that prefer to watch me during the day also really like Shanty content. So it was a perfect combination. It was originally Rev Speaks. Maybe back in February, but it's definitely not a old channel like it's not the channel that he had last year that got terminated so we know the house was sold but i don't think gary got a cent because of all the back taxes that i am not sure because i'm not sure how much he actually owed he claims that he walked away with a pretty penny but again he's a liar so <laughs> i'm not sure i did see that um Gary has a stream scheduled. G-Man and Deck will talk punishment for crime. <laughs> Superman versus Batman. You know what he could do? Maybe he can get in touch with Magneto and do all of the Magneto-ish things that Shani said should be done for the global boiling. <laughs> he sold the blue house? Yes, he did. He sold it. More than likely to someone who plans on renovating it. Because it wasn't livable. Yes, he did sell it for that. After taxes, uh, paying the realtor and all those things, who knows what he actually walked away with in cash. You know what I'm saying? Believe it or not, it's on Zillow. Yep, you can look it up. That's what he sold it for. When her other channel was removed, it was the one day she finally cammed up and showed her whole face. Maybe coincidence, maybe not. I'm not sure. Maybe coincidence because I think, see, it used to be that you had to reach a thousand subscribers and have 4,000 watch time hours before monetization is available. Now they kind of lessened it. You have to have only 500 subscribers. And I think you only need 3,000 watch time hours. So that means that Shani will probably get terminated sooner than she would have before when it was a much higher threshold to reach. Uh, sure, Miss Nobody. Yeah, if it's on a, if one of my public live streams, yeah, people clip me all the time. I think he's lying because if he got big money, he'd live somewhere besides his sister's couch. That's a good point, too. I don't, I don't understand how he functions, how someone can function cow surfing, cow, couch surfing, not paying taxes, like that, that whole life. I don't, I don't understand it. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Um, it, it, you, you said something that I've been waiting for someone to say for a very long time. And it, these cows all 
like intermingle like their attitude and their personalities. I mean, it's they all d- display the same characteristics. It's it's ridiculous. It's crazy, um, right? It. I mean, I'm I'm the the thing I'm waiting for with the Shani and Rev is I'm waiting for the Sov sit era to kick in because they're like on the cusp of it now. It's the the sovereign citizen where they believe they're their own country. They don't have to listen to society's wow. rules. Yeah. Um, a lot of soft sits <laughs> um, usually have had their kids taken away or they've been evicted from somewhere. You know, that's typically the, the background that these soft sits have is, and they go and, and they get these books and stuff, but they can't afford a book on this. Um, you know, it's just amazing. I wish I could do a graph, like get a whiteboard out and write it down <laughs> with all these, <laughs> all these. Not a whiteboard. Oh, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. I mean, just the, the uh, like the sob sits, uh, they kind of fit in because like the Rev and Shandy, they, they're very uh, grandiose. They think they're bigger than they are, that everybody yeah. knows who they are. A lot of the soft sits and A1 frauditors do the same thing. Well, they I mean, they have this, the we're cows. more important. Yeah. Right. I mean, like a lot of these Lulz cows, they, they have like this, I'm a world famous YouTuber. I'm famous. These people are creepy. They, they all have that kind of same view of things. And it's like, no, you're not that well known. So. Well, I, I think I lost you for a second. I don't know why. Oh, okay. I was just that, saying that a lot of the Lulz cows, they, they have the same mentality where they think that they're world famous. Yes. And that they have fans and that people that review them or watch them somehow are jealous or hating on them or because they're famous. And it's just like, no, you're just fucking weird. And people laugh at you. Yeah. The, like you said, uh, I was driving home. That's why I kept saying, you know, give me five minutes. Um, uh, we, you did say, you know, you touched on something that, yes, there's a big difference between famous and infamous. Okay, like um, Chance is infamous with the Akron PD, not famous, infamous. They know who you are, and that's not the way you want it to be. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it, the stupidity is rampant through them. I mean, I've, I've watched some of uh, Von Helton today, or will listen to, um, you know, and I've been surfing around listening to different uh, lol cows, and they are all the same person, damn near. It really is. Like, if you were to make a list of personality traits, a list of almost down to exact quotes sometimes of what these people say as almost like their mantra that they say all the time, mm-hmm. it's crazy in like an interesting way to see how similar a lot of these people are, whether oh, it's bullhorn. When Betty you brought up bullhorn God. Betty, yeah. I was like, Oh my God, that's exactly who she sounds like. Yeah. But you know, dumber hard, you know, <laughs> low bars, but dumber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's amazing. And I am, I, I, I am out of the loop on the lawsuit with queen bee. Um, I, I don't know what, what's been happening there because, you know, life's been wild for me lately and I've been doing a lot of stuff and I put, just put in 60 hours this week. I'm actually off today early because I've hit 60. So, um, yeah, that's right. I work on like, um, Shani, (laughs) Rev. Or any of these people. Yes. None of them. (laughs) Um, but so has she responded yet? No. To the particulars. I mean, what? I mean, at, at my question, and I couldn't ask you at the time because I was driving. You were talking. Um, if she doesn't do anything, I don't. I don't think they can. They'll just throw out the case. I mean, can Queen Bee turn around and just? I mean, will they default? Give Queen Bee the damages? So before I answer that, Petty in the chat saying Rev has claimed to be a targeted citizen has he really yes he did in his li- did latest he video for real? 
Yes, he's going with the targeted individual oh. now. Uh, which <laughs> is fantastic because that right. is along the same routes as yes. sovereign citizens and targeted he's, individuals. They are adorable. He's on the road. <laughs> but to answer your, your question, so the way that I, my understanding is that because Queen B countersued her before the lawsuit. Um, uh huh. Come over here. Sorry, it's my dog. Before, because she counterclaimed before the lawsuit was completed, there's like a there was like a certain deadline. Lauren Betty is now locked in, so two things are happening at the same time: the lawsuit and the counterclaim. So with the lawsuit, she has not responded in any way, and she now has six days left, six to turn okay. in the bill of particulars to turn in a whole bunch of stuff. She has like five or six different things that she's supposed to be working on right now. So if she does not turn anything in, I'm under the impression that because she is pro se, the judge will give her some leeway. They may give her like a little extra time, but after that's done, there's not going to be any more concessions made, especially with her behavior, um, claiming that she doesn't want the lawyer to talk to her and, She's like making all these weird demands that don't make sense. And well, so I think I think yeah. that's where that's going to that might actually work against her with the judge. If the judge it sees is. this email, it is, you know, he may not get a, he may not give her more time. Correct. You know, when she says outright, don't fucking talk to me. Fuck off. Um, yeah, I think the judge will say, you know, you had your shot. You acted like a big tough guy, you know, and you didn't need to talk to the other lawyer. So I hope you have all your ducks in a row today. Otherwise, I'm throwing out your case and we're moving forward with hers. Right. I, that could very well be, you know, the case. Either way, eventually you get to the end. And if she's still not turning in anything, there will be, she will basically lose by default, essentially. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up? Well, that's what I mean. They'll just throw it out. Yeah, they'll throw it out, but there will be a judgment against her. And it could be in the actual lawsuit part, she probably won't have any monetary judgment against her. That will later come in the countersuit. But in the actual lawsuit, she could very well, in fact, get a sanction against her in either the lawsuit or the counter. Where I'm enjoy I will enjoy both of them. I same. I can't wait. Hi, Wilson. I'm just I'm very shocked the fact that it's the middle of the day and Tosi's live. I know, right? Oh, when she so goes live. Rare. I love when she goes live during the middle of the day. Fucking love it. I can't do it very often, but I was like, it's Friday. I'm done for the day. Why not? I got a half day, so I was able to actually, when she said, I'm going to open up your panel, I'm like, oh my God, I'm on my way home. Because I actually went and got a, a therapeutic massage. My shoulder's really bothering me. And I'm actually <laughs> on my way home from the um therapist when you when you said you're gonna open up, i'm like oh my god give me five or ten minutes i gotta get home uh, i just wanted to comment that yeah like rev's been saying the whole you know ti thing for years because that was the uh video of him picking up the kids from school oh that's very true yeah he did mention it back yeah. then shit i forgot about that i think it's just because there was such a gap in seeing them you know it popped up it, it just seemed like it was something new but he's, the TI thing is, is is usually shortly before the uh, um, the whole sovereign citizen thing. Yeah, I'd really appreciate it if they go Moorish because more Same. Moors more Moorish Americans crack me up because they're actually dumber than sovereign citizens. <laughs> Low bars, but still. I want him to start like screaming and yelling about how. They're not driving to the convenient that they're traveling. Traveling, yes. <laughs> I can't wait. This isn't a vehicle. This is my conveyance. <laughs> well, I think it would be beneficial for them to go with the Moorish side because the Moors actually think that they are indigenous and anybody who is not Native American or Moorish American are, are illegal immigrants and can be deported. Yeah. I, don't I would love for them. No, no. The yeah. Moors, the Moors are 
not Native Americans, the right. more, but their the, their their theory is that Morocco owns the United States. Some of them are pretendians. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. so people that claim to be 65 percent Cherokee Indian. <laughs> 165 percent yeah <laughs> but like with the the like recurrence of rev coming to back to youtube and shaney trying to come back to youtube i it's not the fact that they're addicted to the internet it's something that i've noticed with a lot of cows is that they're addicted to affirmation like, they need someone to tell them they're doing a good job yeah, yeah. That's if, true. If, if you look back at you know the quotation marks content quotation marks that Shani was putting out for years when she was monetized, it was her just reading the chat. And if you said nice things about her, she wouldn't you know mention you. If you said any, any anything the slightest bit negative, you got banned. That's Which true. I got banned right away. I'm not saying that somebody should send Shani a fake 100,000 subscriber play button like they did with Cyrax, <laughs> but somebody should definitely send Shani a fucking fake 100,000 subscriber <laughs> play button. Oh I would god. love to do that. Oh my god, and what if she actually thought it was real? She would. She, she would. <laughs> and she went live bragging about how great she is. Oh yeah, she did have a Cyrax moment. Oh my god! I'll send yeah, him another Wilson, hot pizza. Wilson, you're kind of muted. Am I? Yeah. My head's just been acting weird lately. Is is it because is there too much blood in your alcohol system? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm a functional alcoholic. Thank you very much. It's the middle of the day. I've not started drinking yet. Is that why you're shaking like uh, Michael J? <laughs> I'm not saying that I hated the movie Great Balls of Fire. I think Dennis Quaid did a great job as Jerry Lee Lewis. I think I can make it better by casting Michael J. Fox to play Jerry Lee Lewis and call it a whole lot of shaking going on. Yeah, you know, I how how come nobody is booing you in the chat? But if I if I bring up Michael J. Fox, I get shit on. Because I identify as a piece of shit, and people are fine. <laughs> so do I. I identify as a piece of shit. I enjoy, like I, I, I targeted uh, Billy for my uh, for my insults, and <laughs> I laugh every time I get every time I get timed out. <laughs> I mean, it's easy to make fun of Billy. It's Billy. It is Billy. He's he's a he's our chunky boy. <laughs> he can't read. He owns a pug. Yes, but at least now his bo his body style matches his dogs. They're both round with little arms and legs. That's very true. Yes. And th they both snore apparently. <laughs> I feel bad for Billy that he's never going to know <laughs> what's like, you know, the, the majesty of what the top of the fridge looks like. <laughs> Who's up, the kid? bully? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Well, uh, I just wanted to say you were talking about history and, and the only uh, true Americans is the one who have been there always. You mean like Native Americans? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, I agree with that. And after that, who came after that? I'm an anchor baby. Mm, you don't know the Vikings. Uh, yeah, no, I, yeah, Vikings yeah. were there, but, eh, yeah. but they they still they're they still imports. There. Yeah, <laughs> they're imports there first. Yeah, they were, and I'm a Viking. Uh, Billy floated here, or I'm sorry, uh, Wilson floated here. Yes, so he can stay. <laughs> Billy came on a boat. <laughs> or Wet foot, dry foot. Refrigerator, <laughs> cardboard box. Yeah, the Vikings came on the boat too. So uh, Wilson, Wilson used the wet ball, dry ball uh, act. 
to get to get here. I don't live in the uh, United States of America. I'm Danish and I live in Denmark. I was gonna say, aren't you Danish? Yes. Ah, Billy's favorite snack. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we we make a lot of what do we, you don't know how to see say it, vino bol. Uh, I wouldn't even attempt to try to say that. I, I'm pretty uh, sure I would have a seizure. It's, it's just the uh, what it's called in Danish language. Yeah. So. Yes, but Billy did no, paddle. He doggy that paddled. Just what I wanted to say. There's one one kind of Americans. And they're the ones who have always been there. That's my opinion. Only mine. Well, a lot of people share that opinion, though. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't live there. Except for, except for Billy. He's Cuban. Yeah, yeah. But he floated there, so he can stay. I am running with this as long as I can. <laughs> <laughs> All that, all, all that have been floating there can stay. See, Wilson, you're allowed to stay. Yeah. And Billy can stay because he's buoyant. I don't know. Is, <laughs> he, is, is he nice? Who, Billy? Yes. <laughs> uh, he's nice to pugs. That's about it. He's a terrible person. He is a terrible person. <laughs> he he can't stay there. Then, then he have to leave. <laughs> he he's got those evil squinty eyes. You know, he yeah. it looks like he's always got his eyes closed because he's looking out of two little slits. Yeah, uh, Ross Wilson. <laughs> all all the idiots have to uh, have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Billy. <laughs> Bye, Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but but I just wanted to say that it was just a little fun, and I'll 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 go down again. Have a nice day. Thank you. Have for a nice up. day. Hey. <laughs> Billy won't share his nuggies, so he is evil. I he is very evil. Facts. Yeah. Yes, they don't make diet chicken nuggies, Billy. <laughs> I mean, right. uh, 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 your your mind's in the right place. Your reading comprehension just is not. <laughs> Have a good day, Valentine. <laughs> but that's it. I just wanted to call and give my little, my little uh, input on the uh, cow, the whole cow thing. And I haven't talked to you forever. Shit, I've been so busy. I haven't even been able to message you. Um, and, I, and now I'm a, apparently a third chair on a live stream. Oh, don't okay, don't cool. don't watch it. it we're, we're trash. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I said we we just we watch silly things like uh, double chocolate. Uh, production. She's fun to watch. You know, we just watch like fail videos and stuff and comment on them. It's me, Jello, and Widow. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of fun. Is that Sam? No, that's not Sam. Who's Sam? So he was asking if you're Sam, and I said no. I am not Sam. I am Hooves on the board. It says it under my name. Oh, my God. Are you Billy? <laughs> Uh, no, I am. I am. A, I am a Holstein that rides a surfboard and apparently breaks them. I broke my board like week before last. I had to go buy another one. Now I'm buying another one tomorrow. Yay! Because I don't learn. Anyway, I'm tired of derailing your stream. Uh, <laughs> no, <you're fine. laughs> I opened up the pat the panel for reason. So. Yeah, but now I, I feel weird. I'm just everybody. I'm, I'm up here, everybody staring at my fat belly. Um, which I think I spent a total of 15 seconds on this. And this is actually, this is actually gen three. There's like two more before this. I'm going to, uh, put it in a photo sh in my, uh, laptop. I think I'm going to take the hair off because this avatar has way more hair than Billy does. Oh yeah, definitely. <clears throat> and he got really... Oh, by the way, anybody, if you're into TGR, make sure you call Billy Willie. He loves it. Oh, yeah. He, that's, Favorite name in the world. That'll make his day, for sure. Shut up. Shut up, Widows. Widow sons in the chat. Charlie don't surf. I, not Charlie. I'm scuba Sam. Um, yeah, so, God, I've, 
but he, he I've pissed him off so bad. He's, he's timed me out. Uh, he last, last, I think it was the last uh, stream. He said he would Sparta kick me just because. At first, it was Sparta kick Sparta kick me in front of zombies if there was a zombie apocalypse, and it just became no. I would just Sparta, Sparta kick hooves off a cliff just because. Okay. Somebody in the chat says you should get an avatar of some dinosaur chicken nuggies. Oh, be very accurate. No, that would, that would come across as flirting. Uh, yes, because we'd be like, <laughs> "Wow, I want to date you now." Uh, it's it's the uh yeah i i'm i'm not a pug i'm not a nuggy leave me alone billy no means no <laughs> no no don't touch me there that is my my no no square um it's not scuba dan it's scuba sam the older brother of scuba steve petty dr dragon fruit sorry i'm getting an argument I a brick with eyes. I don't ride a skateboard. I mm. ride a surfboard. Because <laughs> when you fall down off a skateboard, it hurts. Waves, not so much. Send Billy a gift basket of vegetables. That, Dude, I, sw I swear to God, if I had his door. address, if I had his address, I would no bullshit ship two <laughs> pallets of broccoli to his front door. That is an act of war, sir. I would do that. <laughs> I, I I would hold the, I and I would put from hooves on the very front of both of the uh, pallets. I mean, wherever he lives, I'm sure there's a Cisco, and I could just call up the company and have it delivered directly to his house. It would be worth the twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> But no doxing. I don't want his address. Nobody try to find his address. I don't do that shit. I'm just saying if I was friends with him, yes, I would have done that already. I think he lives in Florida, which, I mean, he's already bad enough as it is, which may or may not be the case of where he lives, but I don't care. It's either that or Australia, I think, one of those two. Well, if he's from Cuba, it's probably Florida. Because he is Cuban. Totally. Totally Cuban. Yep, 100%. All day long, he even wears flip-flops. Yes. Double as a weapon. <laughs> yes, they do. As everyone knows. <laughs> Wait. Oh, my God. Did we just do a racism? No, it's a truism. Okay. Okay. We're good. All right. Cool. Because it's not just that. Cult. There's a lot of other cultures that do the same thing. Uh, my including. My my mom used a spoon. Not even a wooden one, though. It was like the metal spoons, like from back in the 80s. Damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was on the knuckles. That was only if you reach for the cookies. It's not like she beat us with it. I mean, I'm not, I, I wasn't beaten as a child, although that probably should have been. I probably would have turned out a little better. That's right. Thank you, Mo. I forgot. Billy lives in Colorado, Japan. Oh, that's right. Yes. How can I forget that? Oh, that's right, because every time he goes outside, they go, oh, it's short, but Godzilla. <laughs> One thing I do want to mention, he claims, he, he, he said a while ago that he was like a dwarf. Here's a fun fact. If you actually go by tw tokens, dwarves, Billy could be a girl, because the female <laughs> dwarves have beards. Female oh dwarves God. have beards, too. Because oh there was a, they actually mentioned in the books that you could never, no one has ever seen a female dwarf. That's not true. It's because the females also have beards. So you oh couldn't tell God. the difference. <laughs> <laughs> so Billy's a girl and from Cuba. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should probably I should probably touch grass or mow it. Yeah, I probably need to mow the grass. All right, I'm gonna leave you alone now. I've 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 done enough Billy bashing for now. I'm sure they're going live at some point this weekend, and I gotta harass him there. I don't think he's seen this avatar yet. He's seen the other fat one, and he's mad about. He was mad about that one. Wilhelmina. Yes, we will now call Billy Wilhelmina. 
I like that. Willie is 5'3". Is he really 5'3"? No. Tell me you're lying. No, he's not. I'm going to say he rivals Chance Wilkins. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> anyway, I will talk at you later, Miss Toasty. Okay. As always, it is a pleasure. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Apparently, Miss Jules couldn't swing by, but uh, she might be busy at the playground yeah, or laying on her or Denny's. <laughs> it's Denny's now, I think. She might be just laying on her back <laughs> waiting for the next ambulance. Totally. I love how you said ambulance. Love that. Ambulance. Love that <laughs> hey, if all these other people can fuck up the English language, why can't I? Exactly. <laughs> all right, y'all. Have a good day. I'm going to go back to watching you, and I'm going to eat my fried chicken. Cool. Oh, hell yeah. I went and got fried chicken on the way. That's why that was the extra 15 minutes. I had to run and get some fried chicken first. Because <laughs> I eat healthy like Billy. So <laughs> I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye. See ya. Thanks for coming up. <laughs> uh, no, nah, he ain't that short. I met him. <laughs> I'm late and have no idea who Willie is. Yeah, that's just, it. that's a lot of inside jokes and the sarcasm yeah but guys that is actually all i have for you today and i this was a really awesome day stream that i don't hardly ever get to do i don't even remember the last time i had time to even do one of these but i was happy to do it and i was happy you guys were here and i'd love to see what your comments are after the fact and those of you on the replay Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. And I think I'll play this one later. Well, oh my God, it's like <laughs> money. Ah, uh, folks. Do you know what this means, folks? Yeah. I'm glad I didn't light that cigarette, folks. Yeah. Ryan up church, man. Yeah. A lot of people in the know like us. Yeah. What's the season after winter? Money, 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 money. I want money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us. Money. I want money. She wants money. Money, money. If I'm gonna appear in videos for entertainment, I want money. Folks, I want money. She wants money, money, money. You people are making money off of us. Well, oh my God, it's like. <laughs> if I'm gonna be your fucking Brad Pitt, I want a paycheck. Money. Like, holy shit. You got that? <laughs> what? Yeah, money. If I'm gonna be your entertainment, I want a fucking paycheck. Anyway, back to the back to the story. Blood Dracul, Dracul blood. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that Dracul. Oh my God. Money. They pay they bread, 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 bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 They pay they bread, 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 bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us, folks. I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money. If I'm gonna appear in videos for entertainment, I want money, folks. I want money. Money. She wants money. Money, money, money. You people are making money off of us. Uh, well, oh my god, it's like... <laughs> Folks. Uh, what else can I say? Oh yeah.